very curious. He comes out. Maybe he didn't like the fact that she remarried. Maybe he wants to bring some money down with him. But we have Erica Stefanko on those recordings with her former mother-in-law saying she's worried about the police are going to come after her, saying that she played her part. I mean, one witness testified earlier in the case that Stefanko told her she defecated on the grave of Ashley Biggs. It just feels like this is an, a massive hurdle for the defense. And maybe it's in a closing argument they have to change the narrative, but how do they get past those recordings, those statements? Great question, and it is a difficult spot. And to add one more fact on there, if I'm the government, I would argue that if she had uh, really just been a victim of his scorn or his anger, why wouldn't he have done that early on? Why, why wait till now to finally come out and, and attack her? He would have done it a long time ago. So that's another fact. Timing-wise, it's hard for them. And so what is the defense going to have to do on that? They're going to have to be able to come up with some evidence. It's A, going to explain away the time. And B, they're going to have to have some ability to say what she was really intending or that those, co those phone calls and those recordings were taken out of context, which means she's going to have to get on the stand. And that's what we really ought to watch for. There is mm -hmm. a phrase in criminal defense that kind of goes, if you want to walk, you got to talk. You got to be able to put your client on the stand in a lot of these cases. And that is something we should watch for. Okay, I'm glad you mentioned that because that's something I do want to get into. And maybe we'll see that today. Maybe we'll see that Monday. Who knows? I'll tell you what. Let's take a break. When we come back, more to get into on this case and what we can expect moving forward.